She has recreated The Great British Bake Off. She will now be recreating one of the most iconic television shows of all time. That's right. Come dine with me. However, this is more me creating a three-course meal for my family because they don't want to do the cooking part, but maybe we can convince them. Suggest any shows that you want me to do down below, but not too elaborate, please, because I'm still working with iMovie. I have a limiting editing palette, but it's fine. We work with what we've got. Enjoy. We're making a three-course meal for my fam today, and we're going to be trying to use up things we have in our cupboard. So it's like a cupboard three course meal, sort of come down with grace situation. So we're gonna start off by creating our starter. Okay, so for a starter, we have two things that, this has been in the fridge for ages. I actually need to check the date. Oh, that is close, you know. What's the date? So this goes out of date on the 13th, so we've actually got time. Puff pastry block. This is so good for so many recipes. You can make sweet things, savory things, and it's vegan, so all you vegans out there, thriving out here and it normally keeps for quite a while some dairy-free pesto you can ah! to use normal pesto and this is just kept in the cupboard for emergencies like right now we have some leftover olives here this is the best tub of olives you will ever feast your eyes upon three pound fifty for this giant tub in morrison's so stinking good oh i haven't said what we're making we're going to be making pesto pinwheels i've never made these before but I just thought sounding cute and fun and could look nice as a little starter. We're gonna do dairy free ones without cheese and then cheesy ones for the rest of the family. To be honest, this is really easy. This isn't really a recipe, is it? Because this is just like compiling things together. But honestly, puff pastry is a wondrous thing. <laughs> this is my workout for the day. Several song filled hours later. Many unbearable hours later. Approximately 10 hours later. One eternity later. That is good. So it gets some of the pesto. Scooch it all over it. Oh, it smells so good. Is we're going to cut up some olives. Do you like olives, Dad? Yeah. So we're just going to break these because let's be real, who wants to clean up extra things when in quarantine? Not I. Can you even see it? You could easily add loads of other things to it, like you could actually make it into more of a tart. Wow, sorry, Gordon Ramsay, is that you? What a uh, really inventive suggestion. And you could add like onions, pine nuts, all that sort of thing. One night I was taking a walk along the river. What I mean about song filled hours later. Bless you. Bless you! And obviously, as I said, do one half with the cheese. Then what we do is we roll from one end, or oh, I might have overfilled, and roll and roll until you have a little log like that. I'm gonna cut them up. I don't know how long to make it. One night I was taking a walk along a river and a river. To be fair, for starters, you shouldn't make things big. I'm going big. We're a hungry family and we like food, so I'm not making one of those small poncy starters. The other half, we do the same and chippity chop. She's not here. She's playing Animal Crossing in her room. So these are going to go into the oven. Oh, it's so simple. We've got the starter. Kind of sorted. Now we need to work. I have to create two different puddings. People in the family who have gone sugar proof for Lent. And 101 is that you should always look at your uh, recipient's dietary requirements when having a dinner party. They look cute, don't they? Yeah. So I have now assessed the fridge situation. And what I'm thinking, right, we need aquafaba, aquafaba, never know how to pronounce it, which is the chickpea juice that you have left over. And I'm gonna use that to create a chocolate mousse. Chickpea. So I'm gonna do a chickpea salad with like lemon, parsley, that sort of thing. Where's the lemon? I wish, oh, that was sick. I wish I was, could do, isn't that like a chef who like goes, oh, you know, I just wanna be able to be like, no, I'm not okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we'll have this. I just wanted to see, isn't there like, oh no, there's a movie and this guy like goes like this with the apple and makes it go like along there. 
and then puts it back in his hand and then crunches it and it just looks so satisfying. I'm not that cool or coordinated and I'm not in a rom-com as much as I want to be, as much as I want to have a romantic rom-com love interest. <laughs> I don't. Gosh, we need new knives. Don't worry, we have tried to sharpen them, but they're just so awful, they're past the point of even sharpening. I'm going to add a little bit of spinach. My friend Chickpea. Hello, boys, let's go. Why do you still sound so watery? Why have you got bubbles? Why are you bubbling? What are you bubbling for? We're gonna go in with some lemon olive oil. We got some parsley here. Salt, a little olive oil, some pepper. And I've chosen lemon and parsley because that goes really well with fish, which is what we're going to be having for our main course. I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty smooth transition. Okay, boys, we are now cracking out the big guns because we're going to be making tuna fish cakes this uses up so many things it uses stale bread it uses tinned tuna it uses things that i feel like a lot of people have in their store cupboard first things first we're going to take two potatoes and peel those suckers i won't lie i've always loved watching people peel potatoes i don't know if it's just me i just find it very satisfying to see the way they like handle and deal with it and then we're going to boil those <coughs> Cut them up nice and small. And look, Daddy, they're made of shoe. Gosh, this is a slippy little beast. So these are the baby pinwheels and these are the cheesy ones. So whilst our potatoes are getting cooked, we're gonna make like the mix that goes with the potato tuna cake things. Gotta make a plan, I might be crazy. I do it anyway. Got the zest, and we're back with our good old friend, Spring. Spring onion. I feel like uh, spring onions could be a great character in a cartoon. Salt. I love cracking pepper. So yeah, with a large knob of butter, my own nice little mixy mix. Let's get the tuna. Hey, we're already all stations are. Jules, can you smell the tuna? Can you smell the tuna? Now, when the patties are done, we have to do the thing where you like toss them in flour. Now, I'm gonna make my breadcrumbs out of some stale bread we have here. I'm just gonna carve the bread and put it in my Nutribullet. And just like that, breadcrumbs were born. We're gonna mash them up. Now, I'm a bit overwhelmed and I feel like something's about to go wrong. And then we add to our tuna mixture from earlier. Mixture from... <laughs> Words aren't coming out. That would be really nice mashed potato bite. It smells so good. It smells incredible. Um, I'm just gonna wait for that to cool and then we toss it in the flour, egg, flour, egg, bread, bread. Just wait for it to cool. Okay, we've cleaned down our workstation and I think the tuna has cooled a little bit. Fish cake. So we just have to turn it into a little patty like that. Then we dip it in flour. Okay, and then we dip it in egg. And then we dip it in the breadcrumb. Oh, I'm making fish cakes. Yes. Are you pumped? Yeah, I love fish cakes. My fingers look like frogs' legs, and I hate that. Um, so I'm going to put those in the fridge to chill until we're ready. Um, and once I've tidied up, then we're going to work on pudding. What we're going to be making now is the chocolate mousse. Aquafaber chocolate mousse. Apprehensive. Dubious. Dubious. That's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. I'm all up for trying new things, and you never know if things are going to work until we try them. It's melting some chocolate with a little bit of almond milk. Oh, this chocolate doesn't, doesn't look that good. It doesn't look like it's tempered. And then we're just going to go and melt this and I'll be back. <laughs> this chocolate does not look okay. Why did I said from the offset, didn't I? It doesn't look that good. We have our aquafaba. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Look at this. You would not know that that came from the tiny amount of tin of chickpea. I'm not happy with this chocolate. I'm just gonna taste it, hang on. To be fair, it tastes okay. I risk putting it in and it not being yummy. But I don't want to waste it. I'm gonna put it in. I feel like I'm about to have a nosebleed. Nosebleeds will always remind me of Hannah Montana. I've forgotten his name. What's his name? His name. The guy in Hannah Montana. He goes, whoa! When he gets a nosebleed. What's his name? Three of them. Hannah, Lily. No, Mitchell Musso is the actor. It begins with an F. Oliver. Oliver! So I've got the chocolate here and it just says to fold it in. I'm gonna be brave. 
Folding is genuinely one of the most boring things to do. Yeah, it did kind of come together. Can you see that? It's still got the weird grains in, which I did notice when I opened it. So it clearly isn't me, because I know people are going to be like, if you get water in it or whatever. Okay, I'm going to put those in the fridge and we're going to decorate them with like a strawberry cup, strawberry or something. In case you wanted to see, here they are up close. Okay, so for the sugar-free pudding, I'm actually going to be doing a recipe from subscribers, try my subscribers vegan recipes. So you can watch that video if you want to see how these are made. But it has one tablespoon of maple syrup in, so instead of putting that, I'm just not going to put any in at all. Here are the bases, and they're part baked, and I'm going to add my frozen berries. And the berry almond tarts are going to go back in now. I'm starting to lay the table here. I've made a little menu that I just printed off with everything on it. And I am just a day. I froze some lime and lemon slices because they were going off. Here they are. Look. So then when you add them to the water, they work as like ice cubes. I've separated the frozen lemon slices. They're gonna go in. Also gonna add my iconic light, I mean ice balls. Pretty. The sugar-free almond and berry tarts are done. So here is what we've got so far. The pesto pimples, I've put two on everyone's plate. We've got some fresh bread, olive oil balsamic, some olives, um, cocktail sticks, obviously for the olives. Um, and then here we have the menu. You can print the screen if you wish. So this is exciting. I asked everyone to come in. Everyone's gonna start. That's yours. What do you think? Nothing. You can take a look at the menu if you want. You printed it. Yeah. Do it. Oh, she's getting it. Gorgeous. Thanks. I haven't made you anything. I hope you're all gonna be okay with that. Sorry, son. Yes, please. <laughs> the only beverage we have is some lemon in my water. Welcome to Crack Snacks. Yeah, you start yourself on some bread, olive oil, balsamic, and some olives. Why should we just wait to it? Um, welcome. Here is the meal. Feel free to have a little look at that. Did you do it in the same font as Come Dine With Me? That was just the fanciest looking one. I will say. An apostrophe. I did think that, <laughs> but. I will say. What's the drink? Mm. It says there. Oh, it and actually water. says that. Water. The full stop. Mm. And then water. Water. You know what? You can all do a come dine with me. Water. So if you want to get started on your... Happily. There Water. are more I don't feel dressed up enough because I've been gardening like a mad woman. This is my kind of thing. So, how was it? <laughs> it was the starter. Lovely. Beautiful. Right. So I'm going to tie up the table and then get ready for the main. Here we have leftover pasta salad, the chickpea salad thing. You can go for it. Um, and I'm just going to get the fish cakes out, please. Too. Thank you. Oh. So um, here we have some spring onion and tuna cakes with a chickpea lemon parsley salad and some pasta salad left from the other day. Oh, dad is the critique master. Mm, nice crunch. Okay, so we're finished. And what, what are we feeling? I'm loving the fish cakes. They were the top dog. Yeah. And oh, for me, that's not the good. salad was, I can appreciate the salad, mm. the chickpea salad. It's a very refreshing kind of cool, what I call a cool salad, but I'm not a lover of salads full stop, so. Mum? I really liked it. I think I would have preferred the potato bit in the fish cake to be coarser. I like a more rustic. Really? Chewy, lumpy. Yeah, I, um, yeah, it's sort of, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a bit more substance to it. Texture is great. Just thank you. For me, I just... Sorry, but the way I said thank you there was hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I liked all the different textures in it. Like I love the, the fish cucumber. cake was one that had crispy outside and very soft inside. Mm. Love the salad. Fish cakes were amazing. What do you think about the starter as well? Chuck oh, it in I loved there. it all. She, but this is where we could lose our points on dessert. Chloe, obviously, Chloe and Mum are doing lengths and not having sugar. So I have to make them a sugar free dessert. Here are the chocolate mousses. <coughs> There's your boat. Do you see what the mousse like? Moussey. I'm so disappointed at that chocolate, right? Yeah, it's cream. Something was wrong with them, the chocolate. I'll tell you what this is. It's a strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, a little bit of chickpea water whipped up with some chocolate. You wouldn't know it, would you? <laughs> you love making things with chickpea juice. This was stuck on a desert island. Strawberries. And they Alfred. said, what one thing would you bring with her? And she was like, chickpeas. Tins of chickpeas. <laughs> And also they're full of protein. There's a nice flavour in there somewhere. Almond. <laughs> a little bit of a nose dye for dessert, but everything else was a success, you know? And I was trying new things. I should have just gone with something that I know. 
No, because now you, you know. Um, the fish cakes was a brand new thing. Yeah. And now we know, ooh. Yeah. That was good. Okay. That's so, very true, Clay. Very true. So this right here. <laughs> oh, you that this really right here. Best show the knife I showed them one. before, <coughs> so don't take the maple syrup out of this, guys. The maple syrup is key. Yeah. It's like fairy liquid on your tongue. It just disappears as soon as you get it in your mouth. The flavour's okay, though. The flavour's okay. I'm just curious. When was the last time you sucked on fairy liquid, babe? I have had fairy liquid in my mouth. You know when you do when you're a kid. Double bath. <laughs> oh, she wasn't, ex she wasn't expecting that. That's not something I've ever really done. <laughs> you know, I can't like eat some fairy liquid. You so must have had, like... Um, or have you eaten soap, a sponge? Have you sucked a sponge? On your own have you never sucked a sponge? I remember sitting having a flannel when I was younger and being like, <laughs> you know that noise it makes? So like, <laughs> you are a strange daughter of mine. Back Says you, to you making to meal. Oh, back to the meal. <laughs> it was a roaring success, I would say. Oh, thanks! Even if the desserts were. <laughs> yeah, one and two were fabulous. Let's just ignore three. Yeah. That's right, it's me. Right, fantastic. So who's gonna go next? Is Dad gonna do this for video at Jakin? Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Do you wanna say bye? Bye. 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 Peace out, punks. And bye. <laughs> bye.